Hello, YouTubers. Alaska Prepper here. So my family and I went out for a really nice ride the other day. We probably went about on a three-hour or so ride. So that's what you're seeing here. And I'm going to allow this footage to play just so you can see how beautiful Alaska is in the summertime. Now, during this ride, I'm going to read to you a short story of why we fight. And then I'm just going to allow music to play until the end of the ride. After the story, if you've had enough of your fill of watching the Alaska countryside, then you can sign off. But I'm just going to let you guys see a lot of our ride. But first, I wanted to read to you this story. And it's about the Christmas miracle of 1914, or the Christmas truce of 1914, as it's also called. All right, so here we go. Historians agree that one of the deadliest conflicts in human history was World War I, which raged from July 28, 1914 to November 11th of 1918 and claimed more than 16 million lives. It was the first modern war using mechanized tanks with powerful artillery airplanes, machine guns, and poison gas. Worst of all for soldiers was the trench warfare, where troops shot each other from hundreds of miles of deep trenches dug into the ground. Life in the muck and disease-filled trenches was miserable. To leave one's trench was to risk being shot and killed. The distance between the opposing trenches was known as no man's land and littered with dead soldiers. On Christmas Eve of 1914, along the war's western front, a miracle took place. On one side were the English and the French, hunkered down in their trenches. On the other side, doing the same, were the Germans. The war had been raging for five months. It was bitter and cold. Suddenly, an English soldier scanning the German enemy line spotted a small fir tree decorated with twinkling candles. He readjusted his binoculars and squinted, disbelieving, and then, drifting across the frozen ground of no man's land, came a low rumble, not of guns, but of German soldiers singing. Although the words were foreign, the carol's tune and its message was unmistakable. The English and French troops responded, raising their voices and singing Silent Night. Back and forth, back and forth, the men exchanged verses in English and German. This went on for several minutes. Then from the depths of a German trench, a soldier raised a crudely written sign, You no shoot, we no shoot. In response, the English and French soldiers waved a ragged banner that read, Merry Christmas. Cautiously, the unarmed men began to emerge from their trenches. Slowly, they crossed the dreaded no man's land where they stood face to face in the frosty air. For a moment, the highly trained soldiers didn't know quite what to do. Awkwardly, they extended and shook each other's hands. They clapped one another's shoulders. They embraced. Some turned their heads to hide their tears. They gave each other permission to collect and properly bury their dead. They exchanged prisoners and then, for the remainder of that miraculous night, and throughout Christmas Day, they sang carols and exchanged gifts of cake, chocolates, biscuits, jam, canned beef, pork, beans, newspapers, postcards, and wine. They even played an impromptu game of soccer with a makeshift ball fashioned from a large tin can. For an instant... The God of Goodwill was once more master of this corner 
of the earth. The Christmas miracle of 1914 with nothing less than a miracle of love and peace and touching human hearts in a very big and powerful way. Although it lasted but one night and one day, it was a fleeting glimpse of heaven on earth. It was what Christmas is all about. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there are other versions of this story that are a lot longer. But why did I name this video, Why Do We Fight? Because, ladies and gentlemen, even through the darkest times of war, at this time, these men decided to seek the best in humanity and not fight. And what really breaks my heart about reading the story is that the reason that they continued the fight after this happened on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day is because they were threatened by their higher ups that if they did not continue to fight they would face court martial for treason and possibly be hung. So why do we fight, ladies and gentlemen? Why do we fight one another? That's a question, ladies and gentlemen, that I'll leave up to you. I hope you enjoy the ride, and I put in a little bit of your guys' favorite music. I know a lot of you guys like it, so I hope you enjoy Remember to be good to each other, ladies and gentlemen. At this time that we're going through now, we have to remember to be good to each other. And why is that? Because I don't only say it, I truly believe it, that when good people do good things, good things happen. And if you just remember to reach, teach, and repeat, you know that this world would be a better place. Don't only be good to each other to yourselves, among yourselves. Teach your children to be good to each other. Teach them to be good to other people, to be understanding, to be accepting. Teach them that it's okay to be different and that it is okay to love someone that is different from you. We can all respect each other's perspectives. We don't have to agree with each other to respect each other and love each other. Many blessings to every one of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out. Remember to enjoy the little things, ladies and gentlemen.